The only thing it takes to extract confidence out of successful experiences is to see it's not random luck. You were successful because of you and your actions. And once successful, know and feel that success is even more likely the next time. Believing you consistently create more success in your life is a key piece of confidence. And even the non-successes can strengthen your confidence as you can gain insights from them. So embrace your failures and learning experiences as just situations that you can take lessons from and they make you grow stronger and also more attractive. How to actively build more confidence through the source of experience. A helpful and widely known model is the one that puts all our actions in three different zones called the comfort zone, the magic zone and the panic zone. We spend most of our time or well let's say most of us try to spend most of their time in the comfort zone. And um, that's the zone where everything is comfortable. It's where you are uh, watching TV with your spouse like you do every night. It's where you keep secrets from your friends because you would feel too vulnerable if you would be authentic. Um, it's where you say no to dancing evenings because you've convinced yourself you're not good at dancing because you're afraid of embarrassing yourself. It's comfortable in the, comfort, in the comfort zone. And also, it can be very boring. And dissatisfying. If you are ready to learn something new, level up your life and build your confidence, walk to the edge and do something that's in the zone where the magic happens. What is included in the comfort zone versus magic zone is different for every person. For a lot of people, edgy things can be things like um, asking someone for a date, um, asking bold questions during conversations by just following your, your pure curios curiosity and not any social norms. Um, or maybe if you feel sadness, to allow yourself to cry in the presence of friends or family. Um, it can be expressing more desires during sex. And some of these things you might hear them and they're totally natural for you. And other things might be very edgy for you. So what would feel edgy for you to do in relationships? I'll give you some more time to think about that in the exercise that comes with this video. And for now, let's, let's proceed. If you do the things that feel edgy to you, you enlarge your comfort zone by confiscating parts of the magic zone. And what felt scary before will start feeling increasingly comfortable every time when you do it, indicating that you are building confidence. Does that mean that you always have to do what you are scared of? Not at all. So say that you don't have to you don't have to traumatize yourself by, for example, asking someone for a date when just a normal talk with your neighbor already scares you. So instead of instead of taking two big two big jumps, if you like that, if you feel excited, do it. But otherwise, just gently but persistently enlarge your comfort zone step by step. So that's how you build confidence through experience. I also made a video that's here on YouTube with a more practical exercise on building confidence. So if you want to check that out, the link is also in the description box. And I also made a video that you can find here on YouTube with confidence affirmations 
uh, that specifically zoom into um, confidence in relationships. And those will help you to program your mind more positively and more confident. And this is all part of um, a course I made on relationship skills. And there are some lessons on free preview on my website. Uh, the lessons are quite long, like half an hour to 45 minutes a lesson. So um, a few are on free preview. Um, you can just go to the website and access the content. The content. I don't uh, need your email address. I don't need your payment details. You don't need to make an account. I don't need to know the color of your underwear. I don't need anything of you. You can just you can just go there and um, and watch the watch the free lessons. There's one on self love as that is very fundamental to having successful, beautiful, connecting relationships without any fear. Um, another uh, one that's on free preview is um, on what can you transform in your social life and what is there not to be changed. And then I look especially into um, the need many people feel to change others. And another one that's on free preview is on clear communication as it is so important for deep connection that you can communicate everything that's inside of you in a very clear way. All right, I hope to see you, um, <laughs> I don't know, somewhere else at another video. And I wish you a great day. You can find all the links I talked about in the description box as well. If you liked the video, give it a thumb up and um, if you want to see more videos from me on YouTube, you can also hit the subscribe button. That would make me happy as it helps me to, um, to spread my work, spread my light into the world. Have a great day. Mm-hmm. <laughs>